Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am here with some 6x6 six six paper pads. We are going to play with um, a new idea I had, which actually isn't a new idea. I'm sure somebody's done it, but I'm going to share that with you, and we're going to make some other um, pockets and whatnot with 6x6 six six papers, and then we'll do some decorating too. So let's say hi and hugs. Hi and hugs to... Patty, Tammy, Heather, and Anne, thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments. Okay, so I made a couple of these at my um, at my retreat, and I loved them so. Um, and they're great for like coordinating paper packs where the, you know, where the um, where the paper all coordinates with each other. So actually, I think I might take this pink one. Um, I'll do this one. And then maybe I'll do this one. Okay, so I'm gonna take three sheets and six by six, right? So I am going to, let me get my I haven't grabbed that yet. And I want to tear them. I'm going to tear them in half. So they'll be, they'll be three by six. So great tag size, right? Yeah. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is tear them in half or close to it. <clears throat> So how is everybody today? I'm good. I'm I'm filming this. Let's see. It's Wednesday, actually. Um, and we woke up to six inches of snow. <laughs> Can you believe it? Is it May? I said to myself. Is it? Because I'm not sure it is. <laughs> anyway, yeah, crazy. So Mike's out there shoveling out the driveway as we speak. Okay, so we've got these, right? Now, what I want to do is, let's see, do I want that? I think I'm gonna go like this. They're gonna go like this. So, this one, I'm gonna tear fairly, fairly deeply down like that. This next one, I'm going to tear not quite so deeply. That'll work. And then this one, even, even less deeply. <laughs> like that. Okay, and that's going to be our tag. So just going to go ahead and distress the edges. They'll just show even a little bit better. I don't like that, how that is. So I'm going to just give that a little more of a tear. Um, yeah, the, the distressing just emphasizes that edge a little bit more. Okay, so now how are we? I don't like don't like that either so let's just tear that a little bit more okay and these have just white backs so that's good it'll be good for writing so then I'm just gonna glue these um, I think I'll get my glue book out just so so Gonna glue them. Gonna glue them onto each other. And then I thought of a bit of a variation for this that we can do too. Okay, so this one straight on here. Okay, and then this goes on the top. 
And then since I picked a kind of plain one for the top, Um, it can be decorated. So, there we are. So just a different shape, kind of, of a tag, right? Love that. Okay, so the variation that I was thinking, oh, tag slash, so this can be a tag in a pocket, right? But it could also be, I'd probably put it on this side of a page, but by gluing here and here, it can be a tuck on a page also. So you can use it however you want. I guess I better give that a little or all around it. You can nip the little corners if you want to, if you like that look. But yeah, so a little tag. Okay, so what I thought about variation wise was on these, um, what if I go like that? That's just so pretty. Okay, so we're gonna tear this one the deepest. It's gonna be on the front. I'm going to save all those little pieces too and show you show you my thoughts on them. Okay, so there's that, right? And this one will be even even higher up. Okay. Like so. Okay, let's do the distressing. Okay, and then what I was thinking, oops, is actually when you glue them, you could glue them as pockets too, right? I think so. I do think so. So I thought that would be kind of fun too. I mean, you can you can put something in there or not. It's just a different way of gluing it, right? I mean, you could still just use it as a tag or a tuck, but you have the option of sticking something in there. <gasps> oh, right. <laughs> it was like I did it wrong. Okay, this needs to go on top. Got to keep, got to keep your stacking straight, don't you? Okay, so I thought that would be kind of a fun variation to put pockets. Okay, so there you have it, and then these are pockets. Ta-da! Okay, there's a couple done. Um, let's see, what else? I kind of picked these for their pocket potential, but let's do, um, I saw I have these Anna Griffin and I have not used forever, but they're really pretty and have a little mark on the back. So, I was thinking this one could be, let's um, go ahead and give it a little score. It's pretty thick. These are pretty thick papers. So, let's do this. And um, I'll keep that just in case. Let's do a couple little pockets, a wraparound pocket, I guess I would say. So now with this, there are options. So you could put a little thumb hole there, glue here and here, right? Or you could put a thumb hole up there or both 
and um, and have the pocket be at the top. I think with this piece of paper, just the way the paper is, I think that's what I'm gonna do, is do one on the side here, and then one on the top. And it's just because of the pattern of the paper that I decided to do it that way. Okay, so that's a little wraparound pocket. I feel like this side could have more decorating maybe than this side. Maybe this side just needs a, a label or something. So, and the white showing there doesn't matter because it's gonna be wrapped around a page. So it's gonna, the page will be in between. You won't see that. Okay, so that's another six by six little thing. You guys, I just had to do this instead of starting on my next journal. Just needed a break after my retreat and doing eight journals and journal covers and all. I just needed a little break to do something else. So ephemera is usually my break taking go to. Okay, so then there's that. Okay, then I thought of another thing and I don't know if I see a piece of paper that would go well. Maybe this one. Eef. There we go. Um, and that is what I was thinking is of doing a little couple little side pocket tucks. So I'm gonna cut this right on the corner, corner to corner, if you can get it set properly. Okay, close enough. Okay, yeah, those are pretty. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this at five inches and cut off, cut off the tip so that it's maybe even th four and three quarters, just so that it fits nicely on a page. And same here on this one, four and three quarters. Okay, so of course you have a couple little, couple of little, I don't know, a couple little scraps, but they'll be fun to play with too. So now you see when we put this on a corner, it's still gonna close okay, right? Yeah, okay. So let's distress those. I'm just gonna try and think of as many things as I can and then, then we'll see if we can decorate these so that they're just ready to pop into a journal. Okay, isn't that pretty? Yeah, I do um, like the Anna Griffin. I was thinking as I looked at it that she was kind of ahead of her time. A lot of her flowers and stuff look like a lot of the digitals that are being made now. Okay. All right. So we have a couple of little corner pockets. Now, what? Okay, we've used that, we've used that. I feel like I don't use my six by six enough. So this one's getting close to being gone. I've got this piece. Mm, I just had an idea. Okay, I don't, I'm not quite sure how this is gonna work, but we're gonna try it. Okay, let's just use this one. And I don't want really purple. Let's use the music. Okay. Yeah, I'm down to just a few pieces in there. 
Okay, so going back to this idea, I just had the thought, and we're gonna we're gonna try it out. Where's my okay? First of all, I'm gonna score them all at three, okay? Okay. Score them right in half. Okay, now what I'm going to do is fold them I'm trying to decide which one I want on the front. I think I'll go with the, the birds maybe. Okay, now what I'm thinking of doing is, I think I'll put them like this. So this one's going to be the first one to be torn. And what I'm going to do is tear both sides at once. Like that. trying to see that I go above that one. Okay. And then this one is just going to be a little tear. Okay. So I've stacked them again. Okay. Let's, uh, I'm going to do both sides of the edge here. This side has a little more white to it, just the way I tore it, but that's okay. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is stack them, we're going to glue them, and then this is going to be an around the page pocket too. That's sort of fun, right? Just another variation. We're just variating here what we're doing. Now I am going to glue these as pockets only because it uses less glue. Doesn't really matter. Gives you another option. All of the above. Yeah, it is funny at the retreat. Well, the last day I did a lot of playing around like this too because you just, I, you wear yourself out, you know. We're crafting from, oh, probably nine in the morning until, well, I think the latest night was about 11. But that's a long time to be crafting. And granted, we went shopping one day, and um, so, you know, so there's that. Okay. There we go. So that's going to just go around a page. Now, they don't, as they're nested in, they kind of have a little edge here. Let's see what it looks like just... It's fine. Once you distress it, it looks fine. Now, I don't think you'd want to do this with super thick paper, but because it is a bit more bulky, but, um, but thinner, 
That's, that's pretty fun. Okay, so we did that. Let's look at our other paper pads and see if we can make some bases. This one is Prima Watercolor Floral. What I do like is it has kind of the plain backs. I was thinking this one for the back because look how good those will be for the back of the tags. Um, maybe this one. And I don't know if I've even yet used any of this out of this paper. Okay. Let's see, I gotta get rid of the tops here. had another idea just looking at my scraps but we can save that for the decorating phase okay so did that now I might just cut these. This, this is a little thicker paper. I don't know that I can, so we'll just cut it at three. And I've got my heater on full blast. It got chilly outside. It got chilly down here. Gosh, I couldn't believe that this morning. I looked out at like 11 last night and it was not snowing yet. But let's see. So that one and then that one. I'm going to go this way on this one too. I might tear this the other way though so that I can keep that pattern. Okay, but this one will be the regular way. Okay, so I'm going to just tear that down. The birdies could still kind of show. that a little bit okay birdies still show okay I'm just going to tear the top of this a little bit too oh that's pretty okay that actually turned out nicer than I thought it was going to so okay Okay, and then this one will tear the other way so that this can be torn down that way, okay? Well, that's not still going to show much. Oh, well. I don't mind that and I don't mind the square top there either. Okay. Alrighty then. See what I was thinking is I could put a pocket there and I think I will with that. Or do I like this one? Let's go like that. Why not? Something different. Another something different. I 
So I had to wait for a tele, telehealth call from my doctor. It's just um, vitamins. She was, she put me on iron pills and I can't take them. They hurt my tummy. So we had to chat about that. <laughs> anyway, I was actually supposed to go into the doctor today, but I looked outside at like eight o'clock and I'm like, there's no way I'm going out in this because they hadn't, um, they hadn't uh, shoveled or uh, scraped the streets. You know, the plows hadn't gone through. And I watched a car just get tossed all over the place trying to go through the snow. So I'm like, mm, no, I'm retired. I don't have to go out in this kind of weather, <laughs> especially not to talk about my vitamins. So I just, I just did that. But what I was getting at is I got to read until she called. I'm gonna just do these around the edges again. I just think it saves glue and it gives you another option. Um, yeah, so she finally called, but it was great because I got got a lot of reading done. Um, I'm reading a Lisa Jackson book. If you've ever read her books, they're kind of a mystery. And a little graphic let's just say so if you try her for the first time I'll give you that fair warning um, but but love me a little mystery and those are the kind that I can't put down okay let's just go ahead and do this on two sides put that down there as a little tuck Gosh, that's fun. I could do this all day, just make bases. Isn't that funny? Not forever. I need to make my journals too. And Raggedy Ann is next, but I just, I, I've been starting to pull things together for her. But like I say, I just needed a little break. Well, that's a good way to do it, to match up the bottoms like that. Worked out well. And it's just fun to have some ways to use six by six paper because I, I don't know about you. I, it's not that I hoard it or anything. It's just sometimes I don't don't think of using it or don't think of a way to use it one or the other okay so I am going to distress those the rest of the way around mm, I like that with the little torn pocket at the bottom too that's fun so we've got Several variations of this one, don't we? Okay. Okay, well, that is super fun. Okay, what else do I have over here? Look at this one. This is, I don't even know. First edition paper. Hmm. But it's pretty. Oh, that is, I really like that pattern, but it's that shiny. I love the shiny. Okay. Okay, I'm not really feeling my other paper pads, so let's start decorating a little bit. All right. Start with these. It's just going to look and see. Oh, that's the big one. be kind of fun. 
might put this on as a pocket on this one and then we'll go from there I haven't still managed to sort of organize my my bits and pieces that are left from ephemera and all from the retreat so I don't know what I have to decorate with I mean always flowers birds and butterflies there's always that but with my I probably put that over on the other table okay but let's let's think here I think these would be really pretty with I know little girls with one of them would be cute on one of these I think these are from artsology maybe they're a bit too big they are a bit bit too big what about this one this one maybe you'd have to you'd have to tear her a little bit gosh these little girls are so cute Look at her with the flowers. Isn't she cute? I really want to use her, can you tell? Oh well, no, they're just not going to work. Could maybe put, uh... Oh, I like that there. And then we'll decide something else to put on here. That's the pocketed one, so... I'm going to take this and give this a tear, maybe. Okay, I'll have to cut the rest of that. I might have to, might have to check my time, too. You know, when I start to have too much fun, then I forget. I've got lots of time left, though. We might get to those other other ones. I might just go ahead and do them. Okay. Let's see. I need a glue stick for this one. go there and I mean I think I need to go flower on this I didn't um, stress around the edges either all my little bases are flying all over the place this one is causing the trouble washing I keep hearing things and it's because I'm washing my quilts from from being at the retreat the quilt that I took to sleep on in sleep under I guess uh, let's see what we have here that would ooh that's pretty I remember not using that the other day okay you are causing me grief Let's see. I think I need, need something taller. I don't know. Maybe I'm not liking the flowers because there's already flowers on this. And a doily. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to see about a bird.
Let's see. I really love this bird, but he's going the wrong way, and he's too big, and he's the wrong color. <laughs> I'm never going to find a spot where his whole tail is going to survive. I can tell you that right now. Mm, he's really cute, but he's kind of not the right colors. I'm not liking the birds either. Okay, I have an idea. Birds, you're not working for me. Let me grab. I keep grabbing this poor bin in the same spot and it's just like cracking all the way down. And I'm just gonna have that at the ready in case. These are all the things left over from the journals that I did. Okay, I like that better. Yeah, I think I'm just going to put that on there. Um, anyway, all that stuff's left from doing the journals at the retreat. Tomorrow my friend Emily comes to clean and oh my goodness, I I think she's doing better. She she was a sick girl and so didn't come last time. I don't know, it's just Mike and I, we don't get the house that dirty anyway, but it stays clean because she comes. It doesn't it doesn't get cleaned otherwise. <laughs> Other than the, you know, the, the daily little mop-ups and things. I was thinking about um, some sort of a, like a word or something right there. What do I have in this stuff that I just grabbed? Um... Like there's something. There's bloom. It's too small. I don't know what else. It's a little stamp. No. Some flowers. What else do we have here? Ooh, what's this little ticket? Spring sings. Hmm. Maybe a possibility. No, that's it. Oh, unless this is. Nope, like this one better. Okay. Crowd myself out here. Okay. Well, we have one decorated. <laughs> Don't really want to add to my to-do box, but I will if I have to. My pocket um, bin is pretty, pretty low over there, and I don't like to run out. Okay, well, I think that, I think this one feels like a tuck to me, so I would put it on a page like this, and then this one has the pockets you could put things in, too. Okay. Well, that's my idea anyway. Let's see if we can 
decorate a couple of more. These definitely are spring colors, so these spring things might not might not be a bad idea. These are all from the Rachel and Bella and um, Angela Kerr things. Don't want boots or something. Ooh, the birdhouse is cute. It's too big. It's too big. This butterfly goes well, though. Oh no, I might put that there. Hmm. Oh, what's this? What are these things? Let's check. Let's check it out. Oh, there's a hedgehog. Buy some boots. Gardening. And a squirrel. No, they're all too themey, you know. Okay, let's look in the other one. has all the colors. Do that there. Mm -hmm -hmm. don't mind that there, but I need, feel like I need other things as well. Oh, I kind of like that on there. I'm not going to make it a pocket. I'm just going to have it be a little bit of collage behind. So I think this is airing on Sunday, if I'm not mistaken. So hope you're all having a good weekend. Kind of a laid back video today, but Sometimes you need that when you're recovering from a retreat. <laughs> okay, I like that. I kind of feel like I want a flower back there, but not nothing too nothing too um, dark. Nothing too big. Can't be too big, can't be too small. like something like that but not that one I find the one. No, no. This one. Is that 
too wide. Kind of like that one. I'm going to go with it. I'm going to have to tear off the leaf, but so it goes. At least it's not an animal part. Oh, this one isn't... This one isn't pocket, so I can put it down. That's good. The space is there. Okay. Maybe I need a word across there. Or a butterfly. I don't know what that butterfly is that I rejected earlier. It's not in there, I don't think. Flower. No, I just kind of like to use some of this stuff, so, but I don't, oh, there it is, I see it. Did you see it earlier, and you're like, it's right there, ding dong. I think that'll be fine. Okay, there's that little tag and something can go in there. I was wondering about these little... Too big. Scatter seeds of kindness. It's lovely. But I'm not finding exactly where I want. So, we'll leave that for later. But something can go into that pocket. Okay, we did the those. This one. I don't want something along... a few of these left. I need to reprint these pictures. That needs to happen. Oh, she's cute on there. I'm going to put her under there so this shows. But yeah, I need to reprint these. Because I've just been going through them. I love them. Isn't it fun when you find something that it's just like, oh, I love that on everything. <laughs> She's just the right colors, too. Have trouble getting her straight. There we go. Um, what do you want up there? I don't know if one of these. Enjoy the journey. Good advice for that little girl. I was just thinking this morning, I was kind of reflecting on life, <laughs> on life, and thinking 
I'm so grateful for my life. And I was thinking, I, I don't know if I always was or ever thought about it or whatever as a younger person, but just to wake up in the morning and think, I, I have a good life. I'm really blessed. I think about that more and more now. Oh, that turned out cute. Okay, let's think about what we want to do there. I don't know. Um, thinking about different labels that I have. Oh, I have these from my favorite ephemera. I, I just found this sack the other day. And I was like, oh. I'm going to put patience on there. Yes. Yeah, but anyway, I just, I don't know why I was so reflective this morning, but I was like, I just, I mean, it's not perfect, but not by any means. And, you know, health things and whatever, but by and large, I'm just really grateful that I have the life I have. Those just, that just needed a couple of things, and that is ready, I feel like. Okay, very fun. How are we doing time-wise? Oh, we're good, we're good. We got about 10 minutes, right? What do you think we can get done in 10 minutes? This one, I'm feeling like I kind of want something like that. Um, let's just look and see if anything pops out to me. There's some birds and stuff. What's this one? This is Rachel and Bella too. It's got a big old flower. That's too big. I was looking at this birdie too. He's kind of pretty. But what else is in here? It's been a while since I used this. I'm not not sure what's left in here. So, yep, nope, nothing. Nothing for this in particular thing anyway. I probably need to go through and like put the birds with the birds and stuff like that. This is the Junk Journal Studio. I think this is Spring Bounty, this one. Okay, that's really pretty. I love that. Okay, that's going there. Let's figure out something for the other side too. Um, yeah, these spring bounty kits are really, or I mean, just junk journal, stu the junk journal studio in general is just, I really enjoy her digitals. Big. Okay, so seeing anything else to go on the other side. It's too small. That's not bad. I'm going to go with that. Okay, used a couple pieces out of that kit. This is the perfect size. That one's a little small, but but it's okay. Yep, that's gonna go there. Pretty generic that, you know, I could put that in, in most any spring, summer sort of journal. Okay. Well, now these two 
with that little pocket and with all we've got going on with the pattern, I don't think they need a whole lot. This one maybe could use something right there. Don't know what. I have left of papers. Nothing, nothing to write home about. Okay. Oh, I had a little, I don't know if it's the right color. I had a little tiny, here it is. A little tiny flower, that's not going to work. Okay, well, I think it's going to be a label or something right there. But I don't know what, so I, I'm going to call those done, but it, it could use something as I'm putting it in a journal, I think. So, and these two, these two don't need a whole lot, but I feel like they are of the type too, that if I'm working on a certain journal and I'm like, oh, those will go color wise, if there's a little something to put on it. I feel like it needs a gnome. <laughs> I don't know why that comes to mind, but anyway, that's my six by six. I am going to, instead of blabbing along I am going to let you go but we did get four things done and I shared that idea with you which is what I really wanted to do so thanks so much for crafting with me today everyone I hope you have a grateful day be kind always and we'll see you in the next video bye